Good morning. Just wanted to do a quick little short about pH. Um, a pH kit testing strips comes with each kit or some with some. Sometimes it comes, sometimes it doesn't. So I've got this that came with something. And um, I've never really had a problem with that, but some people might. So then they send you also, you put this in if your pH needs to go up, and you put this in if it needs to go down. You can see I've never even opened these. Um, some people might have that problem. I never have. The only time I ever used it was uh, when actually it was the food, the instructions on the food I don't think was correct. It uh, told you to put more than really you should, so the crop got burnt, and that's what I was trying to figure out, if there was some problem with the pH. So it is pretty self-explanatory. You just dip the strip in, and you see what color it goes to, and it's supposed to be around 6 to 7 is what it's supposed to be. Then you take appropriate action with that. Um, I always say to use clean water, filtered water. A lot of the kits also come with water testers, so I've got several of these. And this is really very easy also. You just put it in the water and it tells you the parts per million, zero parts per million being the best. Um, I always use filtered water or reverse osmosis and uh, recommend that. I would not recommend tap water. You can test it, you'll see how, how many parts per million tap water has as compared to after you filter it with maybe, um, I, I also use a zero filter that's manual so if the electricity went out Anyway, that's all, and um, thank you, and you have a great day.